Inc. says 2020 slowly comes to a close. Today, Baylor staff discussed plans for the upcoming semester. Fox 44, Shaquille Omari, he's live at Baylor. Shaq, what can students expect differently come spring? Adam, come spring, students will see that there will be more hybrid classes compared to online. And for those expecting uh, spring activities, those will be altered as well. As Baylor's fall semester winds down, all eyes are on the future. The big question is, we are going to make it to the Thanksgiving break, right? During a web conference, faculty discussed the weeks ahead and the upcoming spring semester. This, as COVID-19 cases across McLennan County continue to rise. Come January, the university's first priority, more testing for students. Do you anticipate? that when we return in the spring, uh, that we will be managing a high number of cases. To date, university leaders say they've given more than 50,000 tests on campus. And in the new year, students will see the return of more in-person classes compared to hybrid. I think our faculty feel uh, a little bit more able to handle those formats. And students are in favor. It's a good idea. Um, I think a lot of students are tired of the over Zoom classes. Um, I will say hybrid classes are kind of tedious because it's one of those things you come in once a week, you come in every other day type thing. I feel like it kind of defeats the purpose of going to class. And Bill says for those looking forward to uh, spring activities like the Day of the Bear, um, those will be changed as well. They're thinking about moving that from April to March. But for now, um, graduation will be continue to be in person. But as we all know, Things can, be, things can change. For now, live in, at Baylor, Shaquille Omari, Fox 44 News.